Question number seven taken from October 2014, P3 HSC Advanced Level Maths. In a certain country, the government charges tax on each liter of petrol sold to motorists. The revenue per year is R million dollars when the rate of tax is X dollars per liter. The variation of R with X is modeled by the differential equation dr over dx is equal to R times 1 over X minus 0 decimal 75 brackets, where R and X are taken to be continuous variables. When R is equal to 0 0.5, sorry, when X is equal to 0 0.5, R is equal to 16 decimal 8. Solve the differenti differential equation and obtain an expression for R in terms of X. This model predicts that, predicts that R cannot exceed a certain amount. Find this maximum amount of maximum value of R. In all, the question carries nine marks. Okay, so let's do it. Now, question number seven. We have the differential. Okay, dr over dx is equal to r times one over x minus zero decimal seven. Close brackets. So first of all, we're going to separate the variables. We're going to send r on this side. You should know that we have 1 here, therefore 1 divided by r. We can say integral of 1 over r times dr with respect to r is equal to the integral of 1 over x minus 0 0.57 brackets and the dx goes on top there becomes with respect to x. Now, what is the integral of 1 over r? It is ln r is equal to, same for this one, ln x minus 0 decimal 5, 7x plus the, the constant a of course. And uh, where do we go from here? We can say that r, if you take out the, ex, uh, the, the natural logarithm, logarithm, you're going to end up with the exponential of, um, exponential of uh, ln x to the power of ln x minus 0 decimal 75x plus a. If you recognize the law of indices of all of that, you're going to end up with e to the power of ln x times e to the power of a times e to the power of minus 0 0.57x. And what is e to the power of ln x? e to the power of ln x is the same as x by definition and then what we have is times e e is common that's the common base so we're going to have to add the powers and that is a plus the power of the other one minus 0.57 x and that's going to be x is equal to I'm oh sorry r is equal to x times e to the power of a plus or minus becomes minus 0 0.5 0 0.57 x now from here what do we do we know that ln r is equal to ln x minus 0 0.5 x plus a what can we do with this the question states that x is equal to 0 decimal 5 when r is equal to 16 decimal 8 therefore we have ln r is equal to ln x minus 0 0.57 x plus a what i'm trying to do i'm trying to find the value of the constant a so i can take a and substitute in here to get r with respect to x therefore ln r which is 16.8 we have ln 16 decimal 8 is equal to ln x which is ln 0 decimal 5 minus 0 0.57 times 0 0.5 plus the a and um, if you do all of that on a calculator what are you going to end up with you're going to end up with uh, so we have to find a so what is a a is equal to 
ln 16 decimal 8 minus this goes on the other side becomes minus ln 0 0.5 plus 0 0.57 times I mean yeah this is minus goes on the other side becomes plus and there we go on the calculator if you have 0 decimal 57 times 0 0.5 you're gonna get 0 0.285 so plus 0 0.285 and again what is um, ln 16.8 all right and you take that you minus ln 0 0.5 sorry minus ln 0 0.5 and then you add is it out here you add 0 decimal 2 Eight five. So eight five. You can get. Oh, sorry about that. So, ln sixteen point eight. Okay, minus ln zero point five. Okay, plus zero point two eight. Sorry, zero point two eight five. Well, three point seven seven. Three point seven nine nine. That is A is equal to 3.80, if you wish. Yeah. Now, therefore, the answer is going to be R is equal to X times E to the power of 3 decimal 0 0.08 minus 0 0.57X. Here's your answer for the first part. Now, for the second part, this model predicts that R cannot exceed a certain amount. Find the maximum value of R. Now to find the maximum value of R, this is quite easy. And what you're going to do is, you're going to set this second part, you're going to set dr by dx to go to zero and you've solved this to find x. So what is dr by dx? Well, we are told in the question it is R times 1 over x minus 0.57 set back to zero. R goes on the other side. It becomes zero, it becomes zero divided by R, which is zero. Then you have one over x minus zero decimal seven, five seven is equal to zero. So one over x is equal to zero decimal five seven. X is equal to one divided by zero five seven. X is going to be 1.75. Now, what do we do? You take that, you replace it here. So this is R is equal to X times E to the power of 3.80 minus 0 0.57, 0 0.57 times X. Therefore, R is going to be X, which is 1.75 times E to the power of 3.80 minus 0 0.57 times 1.75 and do all of that in the calculator. So, let's do it one by one. What is it? Okay. You can say e to the power of, um, what is that? Uh, to the power of 3.8 okay, minus bracket um, 0 0.57 times 1.57 Seven five close bracket. You're gonna get this forty three point seven something, and then what is it? It is e to the power of all of that times one point seven five. So multiply that by one point seven five. Oops, I'm getting a very different value here. Let me just do it like this. Um, three point eight to minus. 0 0.57 times 1.75 close bracket it's going to end up with 2.8 something then I do alpha e e to the power of this answer is going to give me 16 point something times 1.75 okay times 1.75 there we are 28.85 so, therefore, the value of O is 28.8. Here we are. That's your answer.